Here we go. Tapes are up. Away they go. Once again, gate number four working well. Round the outside comes Janowski. Doyle trying to hang on to it, but Janowski's made it work. Powering down the back straight for the first time. Round the outside, Leon Madsen going very wide indeed. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Jason Doyle all out of shape there. Thompson nearly running into the back of him. Oh, he's yes. off. Oh. oh, that's not a nice crash. Oh, that's a horrifying crash. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, it's clear defence there. Well, I don't quite know what to say. OK, which is remarkable, absolutely remarkable. Talk that's us through it again. Yeah, that's where it starts. Jason loses his momentum, bike goes up in the air, realises he's got to get it back across into the corner. Anders is running very narrow, no fault of either rider there. Bike accelerates My out to the goodness. fence because his weight's gone back and he's still on the, on the throttle. It's a really awkward moment as a rider. There's nothing you can do about it. You become a complete passenger. You can see there, backed it in, collects him, nearly goes over the high side, then Bike just straightens up, takes him out to the fence. Well, it just All speeds up, doesn't it? This hooks up, and you're yeah. literally a passenger. You cannot react. You can do nothing about it. You can't get off Re the bike. Rear wheel spinning, and then it stops, and it hooks up. Tips him oh. right over pretty quick. Wow. Fortunately, nothing there. We do have to have a clear two-metre zone behind the fence to make sure that there's nothing riders can hit if they well, get through or over the fence. Well, fortunately, he didn't land on anything ugly, no, did he? He no. uh, landed awkwardly, but uh, nothing that was going to injure him. And to hear that he's OK is just... Oh, it's great news. It's fabulous news. But he can't... Maybe he should have let go there, but, hey, you know, when he it's can't. happening, it, it's, when it happens that quickly. But yeah. here, he's very fortunate. That could have been so much worse. So, yeah, absolutely delighted to hear that Anders Thompson is OK. Bike, that looks a, bike looks a bit sorry for himself, but that's the least of our concerns. It was uh, very quick indeed. Here we go then, he four. Tapes are up. Lingren, but it's smash look out of gate number two. He gets there. Lingren's around oh, the Lingren. outside, hustling down the back straight. Lingren's done remarkably well there to get the better of Smarzlik. Smarzlik now coming on strong, pushing uh, Freddie Lingren, but Lingren holds firm out in front. Keeps that uh, bike roaring away out in front. Smarzlik now working overtime in second place. So Robert Lambert at the back, that's disappointing to see for him, but Freddie Lingman was quick in qualifying and once again here in heat number four looking good. Tell you what, Smiles is going to have to be careful. He really backed into uh, turns three and four there and almost left a big enough hole for Martin Vashing up the inside. Whoa! But he's, I'll tell you what. Oh, I tell you what, Lingren left a huge hole. Can he get back up the inside with a cutback? I think he's going to. smarzlik has got all the speed again now, though. Fabulous speedway in heat number four. Swapping places for farm for first and second. Bartosz Smarzlik. You ride. just cannot keep him behind. Fabulous effort from him. Freddie Lingren looked out like he had it all sewn up, but Smarzlik had other ideas. Sensational speedway from the championship leader once again. Seven tapes up now. Away we go. Leon Madsen. Oh, good start on the outside. That was. Oh my goodness Ooh. gracious me! Ooh. Three down in the first corner. Yeah. Francis Gus and uh, coming up the say. inside yeah. of Madsen. Oh, wow. Well, like he's okay. We'll see the incident again now as they charge into the first corner. Yeah, Francis there on the inside in red. Just bike just gets a bit of grip. He's looking for a bit of extra grip, gets too much, Martin runs Va into the back. Martin Vasilik's lucky here, really lucky. You watch it again, Chris. He is very fortunate to not really get hooked up with all of this. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. I'll tell you what, I he, mean... he done well to get underneath it rather wow. than actually ride into it. Very fortunate. It was a uh, good reaction, but uh, for me, it's, I don't think, really, this is not an all-four back. This is not just a, a first-turn incident there. The bike's lifted, he's going straight. He's out of control, effectively. He's caused the crash, so I think Francis Chris will have to go. Oh, there. Martin Vasilik, he, so he got out of jail. He got out of jail there. That bike could have landed right on top of him, but uh, split second later, yeah, we are hearing that Francis Chris is excluded from the rerun, which is... Correct decision, probably the right decision. Do you think he's called out by a couple of ruts on the inside there where the bike's hooked up or just a little bit of inexperience? Uh, inexperience, 
youthful enthusiasm, perhaps, maybe the ruts as well. I mean, you know, it's, it's a tight first turn. He's looking for every ounce of drive. Gets a clout there from the back wheel. Uh, hopefully he's OK, but, uh, yeah, tough, tough first turn. Twenty-point lead in the championship. Tapes up now and he's away. But it's the inside gate with Janowski. He gets there. Schmarslik coming round the outside. Fricks in second place, but Schmarslik once again hustling that bike into second place. Now switches to the inside. Split second decision there from the championship leader. But I've got to say, this is a great response from Janowski uh, off the inside gate. Looked out of it in his previous ride. Out the back is Mikkel Mikkelsen. Third place is Max Frick, but the two Polish riders out in front here. Now Smarzlik beginning oh, to put pressure. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, oh Smarzlik's in trouble yeah. there. He is in trouble. He made uh, a bit of a mistake right in front of uh, Janowski. He's in front in red. Smarzlik's now coming through hard up the inside. There, lifts. Oh. Turns in front of him. Oh. He lifted. It's his own mistake. Then he turns right in front of him. And we are hearing that it's Bartosz Smarslik. Championship go leader out, Chris. Right decision in my Yeah, opinion. absolutely. I thought he was in danger of going, and so it proved. There's the moment when the bike just lifts underneath him, causes Smarslik. Down to avoid you, mate. Oh, he's not going to make a fuss, he's going to go away, he's going to sit down, he's going to focus. Nice to see he's checking on how Janowski is. Yeah, so I'm um, just explaining what happened. So uh, no uh, hard feelings there. And, uh, tremendous respect between the two compatriots, but uh, for Matej Janowski, he has a, uh, a reprieve there with being able to go back in the rerun. He was responding well, actually, after a disappointing ride in his second outing where he failed to score. Semi-final number one, who's going to make the final here in Riga? The first time we've been at this venue, the green light's on, tapes are up, and away they go, Frick's made a good one, brilliant one, tight in the first corner, Lingren across the corner, Smarzlik takes advantage, down the back straight, Smarzlik coming through with Lingren on the outside, tight into turns number three, got a feel for Frick there, he got beaten up on the first lap, Freddie Lingren now, Oh, Smarzlik all over the track there, blocking the move of Lingren. No way through, and Smarzlik hits the front. Yeah, uh, it got so tight down the back straight. Max Frick looked like he'd got a run down there, but then uh, between Lingren and Smarzlik, he just got shut out of that battle down to turn three on the first lap. And Smarzlik, the pressure's on, but look at him. He's having the best ride of the night so far. He really is just focused on what he's got to do. And he looks like he's cruising into the final. Freddie Lingwin coming under pressure from Max Frick. Leon Madsen is out of it. He's tailed off at the back. Otto Schmarslick comfortably in front. Frick runs wide. That gives a bit of breathing space for Freddie Lingwin. And Freddie Lingwin, as I said earlier, has been super solid today, super consistent. And he's going to make the final. The top two in the championship chaser through. Schmarslick back in the final. Slipped up in Melilla. No such problems here. Second semi final. Green light is on. Tapes are up. We're underway. Wolfen has made a great start on the inside. It's tight going into oh, the field. Oh, very it's tight. No one giving. Yeah, four abreast going into the first corner and Bewley bites the dust. It'll be yeah. all four back, I think. Well, the bike went in very hard. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of damage there. Yeah. No room as they all got there together, there wasn't there it? There together. Yeah. Pete's taken a bashing as well. They dropped the clutch. Everybody makes a decent start, all four at that point level. And uh, yeah, Martin Vasilik just giving Jason Doyle the smallest of nudges. And of course, then he moves over and takes the leg arm, everything away of that. Final number two, who's going to make the final and join Smarslik and Lingren? We're about to find out. Tapes are up, Martin Vasilik away nicely, but Wuffenden gets there off the inside. Doyle around the inside, Martin Vasilik and Ty Wuffenden in first and second. Dan Bewley now coming through into third place to get the better off. Jason Doyle, Bewley a little conservative going into turns three and four. Running wide, allowing Doyle into third place, but Wuffenden Set sail now for the final, away from the inside, Martin Vasilik chasing him hard. Yeah, Wolfenden wheel perfect around that first turn, didn't panic, just kept it around the kerb. 
Uh, Martin Vashlik settling down, but I tell you what, Jason Doyle is reeling him in, and we know how tough he is. If there's the slightest of gaps, he's going to ride through it. He's got some momentum, but uh, Martin Vashlik just building a little bit more speed now, got a bit of breathing space. I have to wind it on because Doyle is going to charge hard. There's a lap to go. Woofenden's cleared off out in front. Doyle now moving to the outside, trying to make a long straight down the back straight for the final time. But Martin Vasilik just about in charge around the inside. It's going to get tight. Martin Vasilik running wide. Yes, he's there. Woofenden and Martin Vasilik through. Terrific performance from Woofenden there. So his main rival really is alongside him on the right. Freddie Lingren, 20 points behind, going into the final. Here we go then for the last time. Tapes up. We're into the first corner. Whoa, it's Ooh. tight. Lingren's gone down. Yeah, just again, tight first turn. OK, they leave the start once again. Certainly the three on the inside. One, two and three there all together. You're absolutely right, Kelvin. Freddie Lindgren just looking to move over and stop Smarslik having a clean run into the corner there. The elbow goes in and uh, Smarslik does nothing, just sticks to his line. Lindgren goes down, but that's just typical first turn bunching and we will see all four back. All four back is confirmed by Craig Ackroyd, Freddie Lindgren. <laughs> oh, oh Wolfram oh. got a roller. No, he's not Jim's there. Smarslik hits the front, fires himself round the first corner. Wolfenden now relegated to third place with that. Fred oh, the red lights on. Yeah, I think it was because uh, Ty Wolfenden. He actually went when before the race started. I thought he was a long way back from the tapes. They have to be ten centimeters away from the tapes, and it was certainly he more like a meter. Himself, he penalised himself there. Yeah. Not sure we needed he's, a restart. He's on a warning. I mean, if the race has been stopped, surely he's got to be out of the race. Wow. What's going on now? All sorts of debris on the track. Looks like a peak flown off. That must be Freddy's. Looks like Freddy's, Freddy's peaks from his look, crash look like earlier. It's uh, flown off. But uh, if Craig Ackroyd has pulled the race back because of the movement from Ty Wuffenden on the inside, unless he's seen something else and it's just an unsatisfactory start, he would have to go, wouldn't he? He's on a warning. He was a long way back. So we're hearing that actually the race was stopped because the peak of Freddy Lingren's was in the middle of the track. It wasn't going to do any harm to anybody. Wow! Let's just take a look how far back he is from the start. He's rolling. You can see the bike yeah, before. He... he was moving when the tapes went up. Yeah, I thought he's he would lucky. be so lucky to get away with this. This is, un been on this is unbelievable. Look how far back he yeah, is. Yeah, he's a long way away, almost a foot away from the tapes, moving as the tapes go up. Snakes to the first corner and Ty Wuffenden. Well, he's a he's lucky, a lucky chap. boy if he's still he's in this He's a lucky race. chap. Surprised the race was stopped for that, though, with the peak coming off. Yeah, are you thinking the amount of times you've seen a, a chain guide, chain guard, rather, in the track? Slightly bizarre one, that. I'm not sure I agree with Craig there. Craig's had a smashing night, but I don't agree with that one. Everybody rushing now. Oh, the yeah, they're under massive pressure. <laughs> Smarslik in gate two, Freddie Lingren gate two, three, gate four for Martin Vasilik. Here we go, third time of asking. Oh, Lingren. Lingren out of the start. <laughs> what a start that is. No pink on his uh, hat, he doesn't care. Into second place comes Bartos Smarslik coming on uh, strong. Down the... Ooh! <laughs> Tight going into turn number three. Freddie Lingwin holding the inside line. Smarslik round the outside. Vasilik back in third place. Smarslik's got more speed. I will be surprised if he doesn't go straight past Freddie Lingwin. Look at that. How much speed has he got? He has found the right setup. Lingwin now back up the inside. Can he get down there? No. Smarslik, perfect. Superb stuff, fabulous start initially from Freddie Lingren out of shape now. The track has deteriorated quite significantly. But Bartosz Marslik out in front. Dramatic scenes here in the final. One more lap to go. He's going to win his fourth Grand Prix of the championship chase. Totally dominant. Failed to uh, make the final in Melilla just a month ago. Won the Speedway World Cup, of course, two weeks ago in Wroclaw. And Bartosz Marslik on top of the box again. Wins in style. He hasn't had it all his own way here this afternoon. Had an exclusion early on. But Smarslik will not be denied. I tell you, look what it means to him. He's earned that one, hasn't he? He oh. earns every single one of them. But that was a tough night for him. Yeah, it was a tough night. Freddie Lingwin making him work over time there with a stunning start initially. Many congratulations to the championship leader, the world champion.